got a little washer spinner off of Amazon from Costway that we're going to trial right now. We bought it because we're going to need some way of washing our clothes while we're off grid and we needed a small washing machine that would work with our solar. So let's try this out. I'm not getting paid for this. This is just one of those things that we're learning as we go and hopefully it turns out to work really well and it's something that will help you guys too. So stay So this is the little washer. Isn't it so cute? So I just threw some of Harper's clothes in there. It says not to fill it up very well. I actually watched a video, a YouTube video from Mama Just Bought What? And she did a review on it and it looks like it would work. So. I'm going to fill up this bucket to pour into this washing machine because this little outlet comes with a hose that is useless. And so pretty much everybody either buys an adapter so you can use your shower head um, to fill this up or in this case, because we're just trialing it, we're going to use a bucket. So hold on, stay tuned. Oh yeah. And you only put like one tablespoon of soap in there. So I put a tablespoon of liquid soap. Okay, so let's turn this on. I have, this is set for a normal wash. This is the timer for the washing amount. Ooh, check it out. Oh, it stops when you turn on the lid. I like it. All right, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll go to the spin cycle. So cool. Is that so cool? Yeah. Are you watching it? Yeah, it's making a tornado. What? Yeah. Or, oh, it's making a tornado. Look. Let me see. I wanna see. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can't tell because I put warm water in there. we are impressed okay it's done washing oh it makes lots of soap okay so I read people do different things so some people just take the clothes out of here put it in there to spin out the soap then they run another load in this water because it's still good and this was Harper's clothes and it actually doesn't look dirty. It really doesn't look bad. It's just her play clothes. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. So then I'm not wasting this water because we're gonna be off grid, so might as well practice now. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna load up this um, spinner thing. Okay, her clothes are in this basket. Now I didn't mention, but I read one of the reviews that if you fill this basket with dry clothes, it's a good measurement for the washer. So you fill it with dry clothes plus one additional item is about the right amount for this. And that seemed right. So I filled this with that amount of dry clothes. I put five gallons of water is how much it took to get halfway in front of this filter. Now the wet clothes, it fills up the spinner. Okay, so we have the rinse spin clothes in here. We're going to spin out the soap. So I'm going to close that and we're going to spin it. I think, oh yeah, it has to be set to drain. They said drain. Oh hey, guess what? That's draining that. Oh. Hey, that is dirty. So you have to drain it and then re-rinse. Okay, lesson learned. Some things you read on reviews maybe aren't exactly correct. So I'll drain the dirty water. We'll put that back to normal.
No, those are already clean. You're just so happy to wash clothes. We only wash dirty clothes. So we'll make enough dirty clothes probably tomorrow. We're gonna do it again. Go put that back in your closet. But I'm on the railway. No, you have clean clothes on. No, we're not gonna wash that. Okay. All right, we're gonna put those clothes back in there, add more water, and then rinse it. Okay, we are rinsing with clean water. And as you guys saw what it, how it washed, it showed that there was a lot of dirty water. So it's doing a really good job. So stay tuned for the spin cycle. And then we'll see what happens if we don't hit drain, because I'm really curious. Okay, the rinse cycle is done. Wow, look at all that soap is still in there. Okay, so I did a tablespoon. Maybe it needs less than a tablespoon. All right, we're gonna drain that. That's still too much soap. Okay, I am washing and spinning at the same time. Well, it is on normal. So, I took out the clothes that have already been rinsed once. It still had some soap in them. Out of there, put them in there, just, just spin the soap out. Knowing that that's pretty clean water, there's still soap in it, I put some more clothes in there to be washed. Okay, so, this is the load I stuck in here to be spun that was rinsed once, but still had some soap in it. Wow, that's a really good job at wringing the water out. Wow, you guys, I'm impressed. Okay, so remember this still had soap in it, so this was just wringing the soap out. And because I put too much soap, I went ahead and when we had drained this, yeah, I guess let's drain it. When I had drained that, it still had so much soap in it that I had put another load of clothes in there and just added more water because there was so much soap and it was the perfect amount of soap to wash another load. So I think a teaspoon will be just fine. Man, it does a good job at getting the dirt out. Clean my bathtub. So I'm going to take this load, put it in there to spin the soap out because that's the lesson I have learned. And then I'm going to take this, put it back in the wash just to get a clean, clear rinse, and then spin it. And that'll get a clean, clear rinse and spin it. And then they can go to the dryer or hang up on the line. And I'm telling you, this is like crazy. It's almost dry. I'm, I'm kind of freaking out because if I didn't know this was just in the wash, it almost feels dry. Not quite dry, but pretty darn close. Again, impressed. Okay, one final thing to do after we wash. There is a filter right here, and it says you have to open this. Wash it out after each load. Oh, that's like, that gets a lot of lint. So I'll wash that and put it back. Okay, our overall impression of this washer, two thumbs up. Very well worth it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Super happy with it.